What's good everyone, it's Steve from Sneaker Tech Talk back with another video today. And for today's video, we're gonna take a look at the Air Max 95 in the beetroot colorway. So here's a quick look at the Air Max 95 in the beetroot colorway. As you can see here, they very much are reminiscent of the OG neon color palette. Starting on the outsole, you do have a black outsole with some beetroot hits here at the forefoot. And then that torsional plate here in the midfoot, plastic torsional plate is beetroot. Working your way up, you do have a black midsole. The airbags are of that beetroot colorway here. So you have it in the forefoot and then wrapping all the way around the shoe. And then going up the upper of the shoe, you do kind of have those tonal hits with the, it starts at almost black and gray. It works its way up for the color shift. And then you do have this white mesh, which really hides that beetroot lace loop. Whereas on the most OG colorways, you can see the color right through the mesh. So I'd say that's my biggest gripe with this color is that you can't see it through the mesh. I don't know if it's the mesh itself or the color, but nonetheless, you can't really see it. As far as the overall materials go, it is kind of like that felt material. It's really nothing special, but again, that's kind of what you get on all OG color palettes. You do have a beetroot swoosh here with a black outline. And I know most people are really hating on this white stitching at the toe. It really doesn't bother me. Of course, I would have preferred the same color as the toe with the stitching here. So it's not such a big change as far as the st stitching goes. But again, nonetheless, it's very clean. Really liking this shoe. I think it's gonna pair really good with all fall colors. And then the laces are white with kind of silver stitch inside the laces. And then at the top of the tongue, it is white with that iconic Air Max 95 logo, as you can see here. And then you do have those 3M hits running down the tongue, which are on all OG colorways. And then at the back, again, you do have a Nike Air logo in the beetroot color. And you do get that 3M hit at the back of the shoe. More or less exactly the same here on the medial side with the color shift on the upper. These shoes were designed by Sergio Lozano very clean shoe and I think this is a fantastic shoe for fall and just a shoe down the line I think a lot of people are going to be upset that they missed but again I always enjoy the OG color palettes as far as the neon colorway goes so this is definitely a nice rendition of that and then a quick look at the right shoe as well again the material is pretty cheap but again that's what you get with those OG colorways it's not even a new buck it's really like a felt material but again nonetheless you got those beetroot eyelets the black midsole, which makes the Air Max 95 so iconic, is that Sergio Lozano did kind of go against the grain. The black midsole is actually to hide the dirt when you were running outdoors in these in Oregon, as your shoes can get pretty dirty. So if you had a white midsole, it would show all the dirt. So he did want to hide that with the black midsole. But again, just a very clean shoe nonetheless. There will be an on-foot portion at the end of the video, so stick around for that but that's really gonna be it for the Air Max 95 and the Beetroots. These did release July 8th for a retail of 180 USD, 230 over here in Canada. Another pack that I'm actually looking forward to grabbing is the Anatomy of Air. There's kind of the white and gray pair and then the pink pair. So again, I'm really looking forward to grabbing those. Hoping I can grab those on sale though, as I really don't wanna spend the full retail price of 180 or 185. But again, this is just one more quick look at the Air Max 95 in the beetroot colorway. The Air Max 95 is in my top three Air Max models of all time. It goes the Air Max 90 or Air Max 3, sorry, the Air Max 1, and then the 95s. So again, the 95 is just such a clean shoe. As far as the fit goes, I usually wear a size 10 and a half in all my basketball shoes. And I do always go up to a size 11 in the Air Max 95. And my toe is basically right at the end of the shoe. It's not uncomfortable at all. But again, if you're a wide footer, I would say go up half a size in the 95s as they are kind of narrow here in the forefoot, as you can see. But again, nonetheless, the Air Max 95 is a very clean shoe and a very iconic shoe, very popular over in Europe. So that's one last look at the Air Max 95s. Let me know down in the comments what you think of this colorway. Are you looking to grab them or are you hoping that these go on sale? I know that they, they, they did sell very well over in Europe. Most websites have sold out in all sizes across the board, but here in Canada, they are sitting on a couple websites. But again, let me know down in the comments what you guys think of this rendition of the Air Max 95 in the beetroot colorway. So that's gonna do it for today's video on the Air Max 95 in the beetroot colorway. Let me know what you guys think down of these in the comments. Again, I had to pick these up because it is an OG color palette 
with that gradient effect on the upper and the 3M hits. They just swapped out the neon for that beetroot colorway. These do retail for 180 USD, 230 over here in Canada. So again, I did pay that retail price, but it's a very clean colorway. I think these are gonna pair very well with fall colors, but let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these. Take a look at my Instagram as well, at 23MJ88, as I do kind of post all my pickups there first, all my basketball footage, just everything basketball and sneakers as a whole. So check out my Instagram, it'll be down in the description. But as always, if you guys could like, comment, and subscribe, that does help the channel a ton. Stick around for the on foot portion at the end of the video. And until next time, peace. I'm in line with the stars, I'm in sync with the earth. Ten toes deep, flower child from the turf. I never switch sides, like even when I die, I'm a ride for the squad, let her ties in the hearse. I've been on the vibe, kind of hard to describe. I'm in between, I'm good and it's fine, but I'm tired of the grind. Then I come alive in the night to realize I'm in the middle of the time of my life. I'm never so packed for the stack, never lied on the back, got a bag from the way that I write it. Queen looking Tyson, do that ass survive, doing 80 to the house, then I hit it to the sky, change haters on a tirade. Try and get grip, but it don't make sense. Cause you can lose life when it's fast.